warm-up starts again today with one minute of jumping jacks. So all the way out, all the way in, getting the blood flowing, getting the heart warmed up, getting everything moving. After one minute of jumping jacks, we're gonna go through three rounds, starting with 10, alternating, shoulder taps. After our 10, we're gonna stand that up over through 10 good mornings. So working on keeping hamstrings engaged, knees nice and soft from there. Shift the butt backwards so you feel the hamstrings. Stand that up. Hands can go anywhere, in front, behind, on your head, whatever you want to do. After our 10 good mornings, we're going to finish with a 30 second plank. Strength for today, continuing on with some two minute max effort type of things. We're going through a two minute max effort amount of reps of, of handstand push ups. For our handstand push ups, we kind of have four different options. We can do strict, kipping if we're able, please don't put a hole in your wall, handstand hold against the wall, or just our handstand push-ups with that re reduced range of motion, adding a fellow ab mat, whatever we have, one or two to kind of work through that kind of thing. If we are going to do our handstand hold, we're looking for like most or amount, most amount of time in that two minutes that we can stay up. So if we can hold for 30 seconds, come down, shake out, get back up, hold for another 20 seconds, your total score is gonna be the total time there. So it's gonna be that 50 seconds or however many intervals we have to do to get there. But that strict handstand push-up, looking for about hands about shoulder width apart, still keeping elbows tucked just like we would in that regular push-up, don't let them flare out that way, activates a lot more shoulder, doesn't allow us to use our lat. So in that strict, kipping up, staying nice and firm, core nice and tight, squeezing the glutes all the way down, all the way back up, full range of motion, locked out at the top, kipping, using those hips, so getting down, driving those hips, driving those heels back into the wall. For our reduced range of motion, grabbing our ab mats, our pillows, whatever it may be. Same thing here, trying to stay as strict as possible. So now just down, tap, and back up. And then finishing with that handstand hold, just staying up and tall and holding for the most amount of time that we can. Come down, shake out, kick back up. Conditioning today, 15 minute AMRAP of 20 alternating jump lunges, 20 single arm dumbbell power cleans, and then 20 VFs. For those jump lunges, we're still looking for that back knee to tap. Now just at the top, we are looking to jump and switch, come back down, working through that full range, full knee extension that way. If we feel like we can't find that rhythm, we can stick with regular lunges, step forward, step back, and work through. Still gonna alternate, still working for 20 reps. Still 10 per side. Next, 20 single arm dumbbell power cleans. Unlike our snatch, only one bell has to touch the floor here. So we're just thinking one bell touches all the way back up. For our 20, we're gonna go 10 with one arm, 10 on the other. So after your 10, you can switch and work through. Your other 10 on the other side, you can either tap in the middle or if it's more comfortable for you to tap on the side, feel free to stay off to the side. Just think about keeping that chest nice and tall. Don't tap off to the side when we start bending over and use that low back. Still use those legs, drive that dumbbell up. After your 10 and your 10, 20 V-ups, looking for shoulders and hamstrings to both leave the ground and meet somewhere in the middle. Mobility today, two times through two sets. We're gonna start with that iron cross. So laying on your back, and then think about making that T with your arms, reaching that foot over to that opposite hand, doing your best to keep your shoulders on the ground there, stretch out that little back. We'll hold for 30 seconds, and then switch sides, and work the other way, hold for 30. After your 30, your 30, popping up to one knee, that half kneeling hip flexor stretch. So again, finding that foot position that allows that stretch to come through the front of that hip, holding for 30 seconds, and then again, switching sides, holding for another 30. And then after that, finishing off with that seated straddle. So legs nice and wide, reach forward as far as you can, hold for a minute. And then after that minute, we'll repeat 30 seconds iron cross, hip flexor, and then 60 seconds of that seated straddle. 